Hey guys, a lot of you have asked me about uh, first Copic markers to get, which colors to get and where to get them from. Uh, first of all, I just want you to know that I'm not sponsored by this company. I just really like uh, working with these markers because they're specially made for manga artists. But I also know a lot of you don't have funds uh, or means to get them. And for that, you can always go to my channel and check out my tutorials on drawing and coloring manga drawings with watercolors. Also, there are cheaper versions of uh, alcohol-based markers, like um, uh, a lot of recently um, recently made videos about brands like Touch Markers, Letra Set, uh, newly made into Windsor & Newton, and uh, of course, the latest brand from Germany, uh, which I reviewed in my previous video and even got you guys some giveaways so I always try to um, make Copics and other types of markers available to people who can't afford them themselves. But for you guys who are interested in becoming professionals and uh, working with professional tools after you have um, conquered um, techniques like watercolors and want to go uh, onto something uh, more professional, uh, Copics are the most expensive and yet most professional uh, brand for Japanese comic book artists. So um, you have three types of Copic markers. There are Copic uh, Chao, these are the smallest ones, and they contain the smallest amount of color. These are all refillable, but you should know that if you're choosing to buy yourself Copic Chao, you also need to buy refills uh, quicker because they uh, contain less color in them. So these are markers that have two sides. They have the chisel tip and the brush tip. Brush tip is a flexible one and is really good for blending. Uh, you can blend different colors. Each marker has its own color. Um, there is a marker for each shade of color. So you are unable to make multiple shades of one color with one marker you need several of them to get few shades so that's the point with copic markers and to get uh, more shades of green color for example you need to blend all of these three shades together uh, and be careful because when you blend colors lighter colored markers tend to get dirty, their, their tips, especially the brush tip, can get dirtied up and smudge everything for the next time you want to draw, so be careful. Um, so, Copic Chow is the smallest one and it has a chisel tip and a brush tip. Brush tip is flexible and it looks like a synthetic brush and chisel tip is your regular chiseled marker tip, like on a CD marker. Um, next up we have Copic Sketch. It contains a little more color than the Copic Chow, but you still need a refill because after a few drawings it will dry out. But co uh, Copic refills are actually good because they can make your one Copic last for years if you use it wisely. It's also equipped with a um, synthetic soft brush tip and a chiseled tip from the other side. And of course there's a typical Copic marker. So the typical Copic marker has way more room for color inside but it does not have the brush tip I prefer using. It has this thin hard tip and a chisel tip on the other side. And for a lot of um, types of uh, markers, the unchiseled type is cl visibly marked with a uh, with a symbol of the type of the tip drawn out on the sides, or uh, with a gray line on the part where the brush tip is located. Which is the which is the case with Copic Sketch and Copic Chow. So uh, the, let's let's proceed with the colors I recommend, and you can find all of these sets in my uh, description beneath the video. Uh, first set I would like to recommend is the 
Copic Sketch set of six markers sketching grays. It contains five shades of gray. Um, I even think it's four shades of gray and one black. And as a bonus, it contains one multi-liner. So you can do line art with an official Copic multi-liner, which is refillable as well. This was my personal first set and I recommend it to every beginner because before you start blending colors and working with colors um, it's always advisable to uh, practice shading first. The second set I recommend is Copic Marker 6-piece sketch set skin tones 1. Uh, I linked it in the description at the bottom. So this particular set has uh, multiple shades for uh, shading and coloring skin, including dark skin tones. But dark skin tones are also brown colors. Uh, two shades of brown color, which is fantastic for shading every type of other stuff like leather details, um, hair, wood, uh, everything that's um, brown colored and doesn't need to be necessarily skin. So it's multi-practical and these shades are one of the shades I use the most. So check out this as a beginner set and a set I found that looks a lot like something I would recommend for a beginner is a Copic Marker 12 piece Sketch EX6 uh, set. Um, this set is um, quite basic because it has uh, two shades of every uh, every basic color but uh, if you want you can always go uh, to Amazon website because I don't know which sites are advisable for people in different countries uh, because I don't live in America I don't know um, good websites to recommend but also there are a lot of you who are uh, not living in the States so I think Amazon is universally the best place to buy Copics why because you don't need sets of Copics um, you can also make your own sets so I will show you my own basic and advanced set so this is a set I personally use and this is a set of colors I couldn't do any drawing without so um, here we have uh, the basic three uh, shades for skin I usually use these are E00 E11 and E13 um, these are the three shades for skin I use the most. Next to them I have the previously mentioned gray set which contains um, N0, N2, N4, N6 and N8. Uh, and this is just a gray scale, a cool gray set I use to blend with colors, I use to shade with and I don't leave the house without. Uh, next up is warm gray 2 and warm gray 3 and um, black one but I usually uh, replace the black Copic uh, with a regular black CD marker because Copics are made to be blended and if you need a manga black surface you will need either to replace your black Copic with a black CD marker or you will need to uh, put the black area last so it doesn't blend with other Copics. And one of my favorite Copics is Y28. As I said, on Amazon.com you can just um, type in the shade you like and uh, buy each Copic individually and make your own sets. So uh, Y28 is actually a gold Copic and when you combine it with brown colors BAM! Instant gold effects for your characters. Um, and the second custom made set I made for myself and am using regularly. So this is a custom set I made by the same advice I will give to you guys. Always try to have two shades of each color. So each basic color. Yellow, green, red and blue and also browns. Don't forget the browns because browns are a lifesaver for everything. Um, so uh, the shades here, uh, the shades I have here are the three shades for yellow, two shades for green and three shades, well this this particular color can be used 
for a green and blue shading because it's turquoise so i have three turquoise these are just these are optional uh, turquoise is my favorite color and i really love um doing character hairs like hatsune miku with these colors and then we have three shades for brown you can uh start off by uh, getting yourself two basic shades for each basic color, so light yellow and dark yellow, uh, light green, dark green, light red, dark red. You can even uh, save up on money and shade red with brown. But uh, as I said, I will show you the the main uh, shades I made for myself. So uh, there is uh, YR20, YR21, and Y35 as three uh, shades of yellow I usually use. Uh, then G43, G46 for green, and for turquoise there are a BG, a BG75, BG72, BG75. As for blue one. Um, for lighter one, I use Ice Blue B12 and Peacock Blue B60. And for light um, lilac, I usually use um, B32 and BV04. Um, as I said, uh, lilac and purple are optional. Turquoise is optional. What you need is just the basic four colors and brown colors. The other part of my custom-made uh, color palette is BV08. It's extremely uh, strong purple, so be careful. Be careful how you blend it and work with it. Um, it's completely optional. I usually use it for tiny details, which I want to be very vibrant. Um, R29 is the lipstick red. It's the basic of the basic. Everybody who wants to work with Copics needs to have R29. And you can either uh, shade this color with Garnet R39 or with Burnt Umber E20. Um, E57 and E29 are my main to go brown shades. As for pink and dirty pink shades, um, these are all very optional except for R20 for blushing. Uh, blushing, lips, um, baby pink shades, this is the Copic that's really recommended um, so R20 is for blush and I have few more which I prefer using when I want to have some more dirty and more realistic pink shades uh, light grape uh, V95 RV95 baby blossoms EO for lipstick natural and cotton candy for some unrealistic baby pink and as for uh, more vibrant colors I like using RV55. And for you guys who like to um, blend your Copics together, you can always purchase a colorless blender. Its, col its number is zero and you can use it for blending different types of uh, shades together. But be warned, it gets very dirty and if you keep blending different colors with it, it will smudge uh, lighter colors and you will need to replace its tip. To, so you will need to go and buy a replacement tip for the blender. Um, I uh, usually avoid blending or when blending I like to blend colors by putting on the lighter shade first then blend it in quickly with a darker shade. Well I hope this um, combination of sets has helped you to figure out which combinations you want to try first. So these are completely basic sets of markers I use almost every time. And um, once you have this set, like these sets I just mentioned, you're completely equipped to do a lot of professional drawings. And of course, uh, it is an expensive tool. It is a high rank tool for professionals. So uh, I advise uh, my, my advice to you guys is try out first. If you're an amateur or a beginner, just try out um, cheaper 
versions of these markers first or try out working with watercolors first so you can know that when you you're ready for Copics you can um, make the best you can and just improve your art further and as always, if you want to support my work and learn more about manga history style, drawing and painting and coloring, you can purchase my Manga Crash Course book available in English and in French languages on Amazon.com and other links in the description. See you guys next time!